Tell us what you're working on. I'm working on a hardcore tactical shooter. It's called Takedown. You lied, pig. No, it's true. We've got a team here in Seattle. We've got a Kickstarter page up. We've got a community going, a website, Surreland.com. You can check it out yourself if you don't believe me. We already have tactical games, like Call of Duty. Call of Duty isn't a tactical shooter. It's a great game, but it's got regenerating health. It's not realistic. I'm talking about a methodical shooter. Slow paced, non-linear. We have to think about what you're doing. You plan, you outfit your squad, you take your time, you plan your shots. If you fuck up, you're dead. There's no second chances. I don't believe you. How's that any different? You don't have to believe me. The gamers that played these games, like the original Rainbow Six or SWAT, they understand the difference. It's the fans. They're the ones. The gamers. They're donating on Kickstarter. It's going slow, but we still got days left. We're gonna make it. This game's different. You know, all the... All the shooters these days, they're all going in the same direction. I understand why. You know, the big publishers, they spend tens of millions of dollars. They gotta make their money. So we're going the indie route. We're doing something different. And I think we can do it. So you believe that publishers are gonna fund that type of game? No, not publishers. We're talking about crowdsource funding. Yeah, we've got some, some VC funding. But we need to show them that this is real. We need to show them that people want it. And that's where Kickstarter comes in. People go and they donate and they comment. We can do this. So why hasn't it been successful? We fucked up. We had a shitty video. We were too vague in our description. And we, we didn't get into the specifics of how we feel a tactical shooter is different than Battlefield, Call of Duty, even what the Rainbow Six series is, Ghost Recon are today. People want that old school experience. I don't believe you. You can't do that by yourself. It doesn't really matter if you believe me. It matters if the gamers believe me. And right now, I think there are enough of them out there that will. I have a team up here in Seattle. People from Red Storm, Monolith, Surreal, Microsoft, Ubisoft. People with tens of years of experience. And they're ready to get this done. You'll see. But what if people pledge money and the project doesn't make its goal? You don't get it. That's what's great about Kickstarter. If we don't make it, nobody loses. They get their money back. What platforms are this supposed game planned for? PC first, then console. Ha! Now I know you're lying. Console is king. And console players definitely one run and gun. Not the slow-paced challenging game. You don't know. Look at Torchlight. They did it. They made a fucking awesome game on PC, and now they're doing the console version. If what you're saying is true, and I doubt it, then people will want to say in how the game is made. What's your answer to that, pig? That's why we have a community set up. Different levels, you'll get different access. Forums, devlogs, even conference calls. We'll respond to the community, let them know why we made decisions. Where it makes sense, we'll let them make the decision. Not designed by committee, but a really community-oriented game. Gamers aren't interested in this. They won't spread the word. We'll see soon enough. They go to Twitter, they go to Facebook, they tell their friends, they come to Kickstarter and donate, they'll let us know. When? 